Guten Morgen, ich bin James York and welcome to Cozy Languages. This is my own challenge of learning languages and this time I learn German through songs. So, Tag 3, Lektion 3, Day 3, Lesson 3. So today I worked with the second part of the song and today I'm going to show you what I learned so far. Because I've learned a lot of things actually, only with one song. Let's start. So I have uh, all my perfect tables that I've created. And I'm going to read line by line and then I'm going to explain to you some things. And already we see the yellow color. These are the words that I know already. Or grammatical moments that I know already. And this time I want to try to translate myself some phrases. I'm going to read everything. And then we will work. Doch zur Vergangenheit, Spiegel der Zarenzeit, rot wie das Blut, wer deine Seele kennt, der weiß die Liebe brennt. Heiß wie die Glut, deine Seele ist so groß, nacht da ist der Teufel los. Now, I start analyzing. Well, first of all, I will focus on nouns, because it is very interesting for me to find the logic, how nouns work and how they change in plural. So let's start with TOR, the word translated as door. And I found that TOR, it is neuter, das TOR, and dir TORE. And I was like, okay, well, no umlauts, no ablauts, just you add to the letter E at the end. Then I went to the word mirror, SPIEGEL. So SPIEGEL, it is actually masculine, der SPIEGEL, and what's interesting, it will stay the same in plural, dia spiegel, only the article changes. I was like, okay, quite interesting as always. I went to the word das blood. And looking at das, I've already started to think that it may be neuter, and actually it is neuter. Das blut and dia blut, same as das doch, we add the letter e at the end in plural. And next, I went to the word dia glut, and actually glut, according to the article dia, I started to think, well, it may be either feminine, again, or plural, and actually it is feminine, dia glut and dia gluten. In that case, we add the ending en in plural. After analyzing all the nouns, I went to the first line once again, and tor zur Vergangenheit. Zur, what is it exactly? And actually, zur, it is a combination of the preposition zu with article. So, what I found, zu, it is zu plus der, so our article der, masculine, and zum, it is zu plus dem. So, I found two forms for this one. And dem, as we remember perfectly, it is the definite article der, but I don't remember in what case exactly. So I was like thinking, okay, well, it, it is quite complicated. But actually, I found that the preposition zu is used in dative case. So that's why them, immediately, I remember that it is a dative case. Let's continue. Rot wie das Blut. Red. Wait, is it just rot? Because I remember it was rotem. And rot, this is a dictative. So, like, so to say, the, the main form of the word red. And I started to analyze, well, what about adjectives? What do they have with adjectives? And actually, they have three types of adjectives. Weak adjectives, strong adjectives, and mixed adjectives. Weak adjectives, these are adjectives that are used with words like der, so our definite article, the, and dieser and jena. Well, I know der already. Strong, these are adjectives that are used with indefinite article like ein, but kein, mein, I don't know what is it exactly. And mix adjectives, these are adjectives which do not have an article or any phrase in the sentence. Okay, so I'm going to put myself over there once again. And I continue to analyze, well, wer deine Seele kennt. I remember this line, wer, who. Dina, your, Zila, soul, can't, know. Well, those who know your soul. I was like, okay, well, 
quite close. <laughs> Next, der weiß die Liebe brennt. Der, I didn't understand what is it exactly. Weiß, no, die Liebe, love, brennt, burn. Knows that love burns. I was like, okay, well, quite close, quite close to this one. Heiß wie die Glut. Heiß, hot, or warm, via as, dear glut. I didn't really understand what is it exactly, dear glut. But okay, well, scorching hot. Next, deine Seele ist so groß, deine, your, Seele. So, ist, is, so, so, groß, big. Your soul is so big, your soul is vast. Nachts, da ist der Teufel los. Well, nachts, I remember it is at night. But all the other things, all hell breaks loose. I didn't understand it completely. Then I continue to analyze and man actually, hold on, I'm going to do this way. Vodka trinkt man pur und kalt. Das macht hundert Jahre alt. Väterchen, dein Glas ist leer, doch im Keller ist noch mehr. So, what about this? Well, first of all, we have man. Vodka trinkt man pur und kalt. Man, it is actually the passive voice. So in that phrase we have vodka is supposed to be drank pure and gold. So, to be drank, it is actually passive voice. And that's why in German they use the word man. Vodka trinked, so to say literal translation. Vodka drinks to be drunk pure and cold. Next thing, it is the last line. Doch im Keller ist noch mehr. Here I've taken im and mir. Well, mir it is more. Noch, I didn't really understand what is it exactly. Same with doch. I didn't understand because I remember on the first day I had the same word doch, but I don't get it because as far as I understand it is but, but I don't understand exactly what way of but because there are two ways of saying but in German. But we'll come back to this one one day, I guess. And im, im, Actually, this is a combination of preposition and article, the same as zum, zur and zum. And I found that there are im and ins. Im, it is in plus dem, our article dem, and in plus das, so our article neuter das, it is ins. And we remember that in is used either in accusative or dative. What I've learned so far with only one song Moscow by Chinggis Khan. First of all, these are adjectives, very good adjectives. The word so, very or so, kalt, cold, heiß, hot or warm, gross, big, klein, little, schön, beautiful, pur, pure, leer, empty, voll, full, gold, gold, rot, Red. So, I've learned this adjective. Already 10 words. Then, I've learned some verbs as well. Like sein, the verb to be. Kennen and wissen, verbs to know. Kennen, when you know something or somebody by acquaintance. And wissen, when you know something because you know the fact. But you haven't seen it yet or haven't met uh, this person yet. Next, kommen, tanzen, to come and to dance. Leben, to live. Leben to love, drinking and machen, to drink and to do. Nine already, so like we have 19 words. Next, good phrases like Guten Morgen, Guten Tag, Guten Abend and Gute Nacht. As well as beautiful phrases like Ich komme aus Frankreich and Ich bin Jahre alt. I don't know how to say 24. Next, well, words like Moscow and Russland. Then some random words and phrases. Uh, und, and, wir. As or like, wer, who, mehr, more, wirklich, really, numbers, eins, zwei, drei, vier, hundert. Then, as well, words like Bruder, brother, Matchen, a woman, or women, Vater, father, and Land, land, Feuer, fire, eyes, eyes, Liebe, love, and Leben, life. Next, the word Turm, tower, want, wall, tor, door, glass, glass, tisch, table, spiegel, mirror, and man, 
in the passive voice. Are articles and some rules of uh, plural, uh, four different articles, dea for masculine, dia for feminine, and das for neuter, and dia for plural as well, and uh, two indefinite articles, ein for masculine and neuter, and eine for feminine only. About the rules of plural, still it is quite complicated for me, I didn't really get it. When and what do we use? Well, maybe with next song we are going to learn it. As well, prepositions like in, auf, an that are used in both accusative and dative cases, bis only in accusative, aus and zu only in dative, that adjectives in plural they change due to the case, as well as word you, du also changes due to the case, and our articles, definite articles, they change due to the case as well. Definite masculine articles, to be more precise. Next, I've learned that there are three types of adjectives, weak, strong and mixed, and as well our beautiful prepositions zu and in that are combined with articles and create new forms like zur, which is zu plus der, and zum, which is zu plus dem, and in as well, which is uh, ins, in plus das, and im, in plus dem. So these are the things that I've learned in only three days and with only one song. Tomorrow I will take another song. So I found one beautiful song from Eurovision, which is called Anushka, also connected with Russia. I love Russia. <laughs> the song is quite short, so I'm going to analyze the whole song tomorrow. The day after tomorrow, I'm going to analyze this song once again, or if it is going to be very easy, the day after tomorrow, I will take another song. So if you have any ideas what song should I listen to, but not very difficult, I don't need the level C1 or B2 or B1. It is for beginner. I am a beginner, so not very difficult one. And thank you very much if you like the video. I want you to push a little like button and to subscribe because we are going to continue our challenge for 30 days and this is only tag 3. So we'll see what tomorrow will give us. And thank you very much and choose.